they had uh, the, after they were interned, then all the Italians came back into Soho. Oh yeah. And uh, I mean that's the interesting bit. My mum was saying Auntie Rosie lived in Park Lane because it was cheap. Carlos Mansion. She lived above um, in a nice muse place. There's a garage underneath. A beautiful, new, beautiful, beautiful flat, and she couldn't wait to get out because it didn't have a garden and uh, this yeah. and that. But of course, they worked at the Piccadilly, and she worked at Cafe Torino, so it's a walk yeah. home for them. Oh, Cafe Torino was along there, oh, wasn't it? Was it? Great fun, Cafe, where was Cafe, Cafe Torino. Where was what was there now? Where Cafe Torino is? What was there now? We just passed it. Oh yes, no, it's yeah. next door to Alger Algeria. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. it's a closed it's shop. It. Yeah. It's, it's a closed shop. shop. Yeah. Gamba's gone. Gamba's not here Gamba? anymore. Where was Gamba? The opposite corner. Okay. Uh, and everybody go there to get their ba buy their belly but shoes. But do you know the Gamba plan? Either there, either there or there was another shop in Monmouth Street with um, ballet shoes as well. I can't My two that. cousins. Charing Cross Road, there was, there was also um, the St. Martin yes. Lane, there was, there was a ballet shop too. There was, shop yeah. Too. That's, but I think that's, they're that's in... Monmouth Street. Uh, oh, sorry, that is, yeah. 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 I think they're near, uh, they're in Baker to, Street now, near the station. Paul, the, the, um, yeah, but the Gamba, Gamba, my two cousins, went to work at Gumbers when they left school and they stayed there until they died. Really? Yes. Uh, I remember Lydia, she said to the staff, I don't know, I don't feel well today. <laughs> and she finished her work, she said good night, went home, sat in the chair and died. And she, mm. and she started there when she was 14 in really? Gumbers. How old was she when she died? Um, she, she hadn't retired yet. Well, I think she was near retirement in age. Isabella was up the top of the road yes. from us. Five doors away. Yeah. It's now Mr. Micotti. It's now a Mr. burger. Mr. Micotti. It's now a burger. Park. I know. That's yeah. what I'm saying. You know, yeah. you walk around here, and What's you look at me like looking across the road. I mean, that was an Italian, uh, not a um, restaurant. Two sisters run it, and the husbands. Yeah. That was their little Parmigianis. That one. That was, that was La Roche. La Roche. Was yeah. The cheese, all the different all cheese. The cheese and the salads, the, 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 and 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 the, and the, and the salads, the smell salads smell that she yeah. grew in her garden. Mm, yeah. That salads we didn't know anything about. Oh, really? You know, like the, um, what do they call it? The endives. Wife. The endives. Mm. She sold endives. We didn't know what endives was. So there was the, and there was the begging hall where my brother went to work, and the chef lived in our house in, in Clerkenwell. Wow. Yeah? I loved it last time we were sitting here, and you looked across the road, and you went, that was Spanish Betty's daughter. That's right, yeah. Was Spanish she was the, uh, she, you know when you get to the pub? Yeah. Well, there's a little doorway there. Yeah. And that's up there on the wall. On the wall she had Spanish Betty. Ring the bell. Oh, she actually had it written? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. They oh, they yeah. You know, that's when they stopped from walking about. Right. right. Because oh, yeah, Lord said that they used to walk around. Yeah, Wolfenden stopped at street. Lord Wolfenden's report, wasn't it? Yeah. Cleaning up the streets. Cleaning and up actually, all he did yeah. was drive them into the hands of the fence and all these clubs. They used to walk around on the street. They had oh. beautiful clothes yeah. and really? pure silk dresses. Yeah. And uh, in the summer, they had two foxes, silver foxes, one over each shoulder, which she yeah. the head. In the winter, they had ginger fox or silver fox three-quarter coats, because mink wasn't in fashion then. Really?